Thanks for staying with us here on STL TV Live. Joining me now is Gina Galati from Winter Opera St. Louis, and it's great to see you again. Thank you for having me. So I love this time of year because it's the art season kickoff, mm -hmm. and you get to sit down and talk to everyone about what's what's in store for the season, and <laughs> we're right at the start for you guys. Yes, yes, we have a big season plan, the biggest yet. Uh, we start with our resident artist program. We're starting speed dating tonight, this weekend, <laughs> at four different universities in the Tavern of the Fine Arts. Um, and that's a new thing that we're doing. It's a one hour opera that's very quick. Uh, it's all about dating and how difficult it is to date these days uh, with so social never, media. And <laughs> you very rarely hear speed dating and opera I together know. in the same <laughs> sentence. But this is, tell me more. So this is, yes. what's the actual title of the opera? It's speed Dating? Speed Dating Tonight. Speed Dating Tonight. And Correct. so how long has this been around? You know, I think it's just a few years now. Okay. Uh, Michael Ching uh, composed the music for it, and Dean Anthony uh, had the idea, I guess, okay. he, 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 um, the concept. Uh -huh. uh, and you know, it's a great opera for first timers. If you've never seen an opera, it's short and sweet, and it has a lot of things that we can identify with. Uh, everyone can, you know, there's different characters, different daters, nerds, and girls without confidence, and then liars, and everything, and it just, puts all these different people together and different situations happen throughout the hour of the opera. So it's a really fun uh, opera for, for, for newcomers for sure. And we're doing this for a lot of universities uh, to try and get younger people involved uh -huh. in what we do. I love so, it. I think it's yes. a fantastic idea and you're right. It's a great way to introduce a younger audience to opera. So we go from this to the marriage of Figaro. Right. <laughs> so we move, we go to a different yes, tone, if exactly. you will. And this is sort of like the official sort of then big production of yes. uh, that kicks off the season. Yes, it actually is our first uh, Mozart opera, so we're really excited to finally produce a Mozart opera. Uh, and we will, you know, it's, it's a big one. Um, it has a lot of different characters. We have a lot of artists coming in from all over the country. Scott Schoonover is conducting, uh, and we're preparing for that also. So all the artists will come in about a week after we finish Speed Dating and get ready for that show. Okay, and so what's after The Marriage of Figaro? Well, we're doing, we're adding another pr production this year called The Wise Women. It's a Christmas opera. Uh, it has, uh, we're, we have a lot of communities, uh, community high school people that are going to be involved in it, a lot of chorus uh, people. Uh, we have, you know, we're flying in artists again for this, for the principal roles, but the, the story is the wise women and the three wise men who visit Jesus at the nativity, uh, the wives, their wives want to go and they say no. <laughs> and, uh, and then finally, so they said, well, no, the women are too much trouble. And so they go to see Jesus. And the first thing Mary asks is, well, where are your wives? And so they kind of uh, learn a lesson that family and love, and, and that's what the importance of Christmas is. Yeah. Um, and the birth of Christ. That's what, you know. No, that's a great one for obviously for, yes. for the holidays, and you have some some special features around that too. You yes, we have. We're going to have Santa in the lobby. Um, a lot of children in this opera. We have about twenty five kids that are going to be in, playing goats and sheep and and things that'll be at the nativity. Uh, it's going to be really beautiful, uh, and we're really excited. I think it's going to help new people come to the opera mm -hmm. and introduce them to new things in this, you know, in St. Louis. So, so when you're planning out your season, you know, the, usually I think in the past when we've had you here, it's been like three operas that you've done for your season. This yes. year it's five and Correct. some other programs. Yes. What was the difference in, what was the strategy in that in those two years? Why the difference? We are trying to get out into the community and get our name out there more. And what better way to do that with young people? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something that we've always had a, a mission of promoting uh, arts in the community and with young people. So that's the most important thing that that we've always wanted to do, you know, with Winter Opera. So we're finally at a at a point where we have a, the facility to be able to do that, and um, and you know we've been doing okay financially. So we're that's we, great. We're we're just trying to keep keep you know keep growing. Yeah, sure. And I should mention where your home. You have you have a home. Yes, we do. We have a building on the hill that we we do all of our rehearsals. The orchestra is able to to rehearse there and we it's a nice it's nice to not get shuffled around at different yeah. you know places where we rehearse so we have this new building uh, that we're it's not new but <laughs> uh, we have this place that mm -hmm. it, we can call ours that you, you can know, call home which is nice well we've got actually there's more productions for the season we've only covered so far three we've got a couple more to go mm -hmm. so we're going to have more when we return on SDL TV with Gina Galati from Winter Opera St. Louis we'll be right back after this break